Hi, and welcome to the Advent IM podcast, Risk and Business. Today, I'm joined by our managing consultant, Dave Wharton. Hi, Dave. Hi, Mike. So Dave oversees all of our service delivery, and we thought we'd take an opportunity here to talk about outsourcing and the new service that we've recently launched, Advent IM Outsource. So I suppose we start by talking about what is it? So we have a number of core services that we deliver as part of the team. Um, those services um, obviously relate to the industry we work in, but specifically around the likes of working with central government, um, doing risk and assurance work, um, security architecture, uh, 27,001, um, business continuity, i.e. Uh, 22301, and, and the, you know, the, the various tasks that we do. Um, however, there are some projects that we are not able to resource um, within the team, so we, um, we then call upon our outsourcing service to supplement and uh, provide uh, a quality service to our clients. So what we've effectively built is a, um, a specially curated uh, pool of expert resource, a non-permanent resource that we can place into clients, particularly where the client requirement is goes beyond the, the more sporadic ad hoc uh, consultancy type of work and where they need maybe an intern or they need a, a team of people to work on a specific project for a period of time. Absolutely right. Yes, yes. You know that. I mean, you've you've nailed it on the head there, Mike. You know, it's uh, it, it's it's those circumstances where also we um, we don't necessarily work full time within a project within the, within the consultancy team. Our services are not designed to be delivered that way, um, but a lot of our clients will require that for a three month basis. Somebody working on site with them Monday to Friday, um, and it provides us the opportunity to provide that service to our clients, all closely managed by ourselves of course and, and, and um, by myself as the managing consultant but also within my team using our senior and lead consultants for the, for the projects. And this has come about as a result of us reacting to client needs, you know, the, it's the clients that have said to us, we already trust you as a consultancy but we've got this extra demand, can you provide that extra demand as well? Yes, no, that, 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 that is true, so working with a, uh, um, we have a long standing relationship with a central government client and that's exactly what happens. We'd worked with them a number of years and we provided our consultants into the organisation to support them on a number of different projects. Um, they'd identified a specific an area where they had a shortcoming in, in resource. Uh, they asked us if we could fill it and we said yes, but we would, you know, we would have to rely on uh, bringing in contractors, third parties uh, to, to support that. And they thought, well, we've never considered that before. What does that look like? Uh, so we put together a proposal, suggest, you know, told them what we were going to do, and uh, they were like, yeah, let's do it. And we were able to bring in, um, I think it was a team of eight, headed by myself, for a six-month period. And basically, we, cl we cleared the security debt that they had, had um, acquired over a number of years uh, to get them back on a, on a level footing, simply because they just didn't have the resource to, to be able to do it themselves. And this makes us different in, in what way? So we have the same level of culture and adaptability and the same level of skill set that we would have with our own people. We do, yes, yeah. And, and we pre-check those. We do, yes, no, exactly. You know, we, we, we carefully select. We, we use a number of our um, partner agencies to identify potential candidates to, to bring in for this, um, for this type of work. Um, they're all vetted by myself. Um, to, to make sure they've got you know a, a, an acceptable skill set you know um, and experience and knowledge and, and I suppose ultimately they're not going to embarrass Advent I am you know in this particular case the uh, the client was happy for me to to do the vetting side of things and you know it was it was taken at that mm. they didn't want to interview or you know review CVs themselves they were happy given our relationship with them for me to do that um, and then internally I managed that team through the the project lifecycle and that in itself has to have a benefit to the client because you've got a security specialist interviewing a security specialist so they've got the surety that we know what we're talking about. So therefore, we know when somebody we're interviewing knows what they're talking about. Exactly right. Yes, they have, a, or they had a skill shortage in their own right anyway. So they were wary of bringing in people to start with. Through the relationship and the trust that we we'd acquired with them, you know, they they realised that they could leave us to it basically, and that they, you know the job would get done. And at the end of the day, that was the priority. The job was to, had to get done. And, that, and that's really important. We get the job done. Yeah. 
yeah. And obviously, we're not recruitment agents, obviously. No. And not that there's anything wrong with recruitment agencies, but this goes beyond purely just being um, a body shop and saying, you know, I've got people, how many people do you need? It's that curatorship, it's the oversight by the managing consultant where necessary, it's the project management wraparound, it's the ensuring the quality of the job and ultimately closing the job out to say we have reached a satisfactory conclusion. Yes, yeah, and that, and again, you know that that's what we did. You know, I so I managed the 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 the, um, the team on a day to day basis. Um, I reviewed their work. I made sure it was it was adequate, well, not adequate. It was more than adequate, but you know, made sure it was fit for purpose. It, it achieved the the desired outcomes for for the particular project they were they were involved with, and you know, mon- monitored you know even the, the basics around kind of timesheet management and things like that uh, to make sure that the you know the client was being invoiced correctly and stuff. So yeah, that project management side of things again that, that you mentioned. You know the client really appreciated that you know and, and to such an extent is actually they, they took it and developed it as a model for further engagement with all of their um, outsourcing requirements there you go advent i am once again ahead of the pack and forward thinking yep absolutely right and, and again you know that wasn't the only project that we're involved with they they had another program a remediation program where they needed further support and they came to us straight away and said can you do it and, um, and in this instance, you know, we, we were able to put a team of uh, seven um, staff in there, um, headed up by one of our senior consultants, working across a range of, of different areas from policy writing uh, to security architecture to, to um, solution architecture. You know, again, all with that oversight from within within our team. So there again is an extra benefit that we can we can ramp up with different skill sets come in and out of projects with those skill sets. We can scale up where there's a spate condition or an unexpected requirement arises. We can deal with that as well. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that, you know, that, that, that is the beauty of this service is the fact that, you know, it, it, if they have a requirement, um, we, we, we can there to fulfill it and they, can, they know they can trust us to get, to get on with it and, um, and make sure that the right people are there at the right time, you know, doing the right thing. And no gaps for holidays. Uh, typically, yes, yeah. I, well, some some may take time off, but as a rule, you know, it was an, it was an eye opener for me. Never having been a contractor, you know, I mean, one individual didn't want to take any time off. He was quite happy do, do, doing doing his five days a week, and and for the entire entirety of the project, he did not have any time off. There you go. Uh, which which was completely to me. I thought contractors, I'd work a little while and then have six months off and go, you know, sailing around the Mediterranean or something. But uh, not in this case. Yeah, that's brilliant. So. If you have a need, small or large project, where you need some specially curated, non-permanent resource, then Advent IM are the people to go to. Ultimately, this is about one contact, one contract. We manage the whole life cycle from finding the resource, placing the resource, managing the resource, and completing the workload to a more than adequate standard. So, you need us, you know where we are, reach out to us and even if you don't have a need now why not reach out and connect to us on our social media you can find us across all social media platforms thanks very much for listening i've been mike gillespie i've been joined today by dave wharton thanks mike this is the advent i am podcast risk and business